Robert Steinberg, Robert, I want to the National Credit Choice Online News, say hi for the high, uh, Hotels International. I have a great author here based in Singapore. Uh, she writes a, a, a number of good uh, children's titles uh, here at this uh, Asian Content Festival here 2012. Uh, here is uh, Miss Rosalind Lim, and uh, one of her great books is Don't Judge a Book by Its Cover. Um, and of course, there are many other uh, what great titles that, that she has that's, that's already been launched in all great bookstores here in Singapore and online. Miss um, Rosalind, uh, tell us, uh, what's your inspiration behind uh, writing these books? Okay, I used to be uh, a teacher in the elementary school, right? The series of, uh, the name of my series is called Proverbs, huh? So when I was teaching uh, kids, young kids, right, between five to nine, I noticed that they had difficulty understanding proverbs. So then I had to explain to them literally what that particular proverb means. And I find that um, they understand it better when I tell them a story using that very same proverb in different situations. And so from there, somehow the idea was conceived, you know, that why not write a series of books for children to enjoy and at the same time pick up a proverb in the course of reading and enjoying the story. Amazing. And enjoying uh, the story itself, uh, how long did it take you to finish uh, the entire the whole series? series? Yes. Okay, I one thing that I, I cannot um, specify a time frame because this took like, uh, I, I didn't sit down exactly and get it done one book after the other, you know, because there was a rough script and I put it aside. Uh, officially, I'm a homemaker by profession. <laughs> <laughs> so this was just like a, a hobby kind of thing in the course of, you know, uh, maybe a few months kind of stuff, yeah. Uh, was there any, uh, any other uh, author particularly or mentor that actually uh, helped you in, in, in writing these books or was it self-taught? It's, it's self-taught. Uh, and my children are involved in these books if you look at the back cover of the books, oh, right? Amazing. Because uh, I stayed at home with them and we actually grew up together so called and they love uh, uh, reading and writing, right? So they contributed a lot to my books. Amazing. So it was like a family uh, fun project so called during one of their long vacations. So we had a brainstorming session and all that. Yeah. Is there any uh, other language uh, that's been translated as well for your books? Okay, recently there's this uh, local paper here called My Paper, Wo Bao. Mm -hmm. They actually translated uh, four of my titles into Chinese. Oh, that's very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. So is there, would there be any uh, opportunities for anyone outside of Singapore to seek uh, oh, yes. the rights? Definitely. Oh, yes, definitely. Cool. And currently uh, I'm taking this uh, series a step further. We are current, I'm currently working with uh, this group of people who will be converting them into ebooks. Yeah. And speaking about ebook, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here at the National Queen's Choice, save Hyatt for the Hyatt hotels around the world. Please uh, look out for uh, Rosalind Lim's books available online very soon, and, or they already are. Please Google that. And, and at the same time, thank you for being on our show. And we'll see more of your new titles coming soon for kids around the world. I'm Robin Stein.